hey you guys hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to the channel on this channel we try to cover all things reality tv news and gossip as well as trending topics and um when i saw this come out a couple of days ago i knew immediately i was going to talk about it on my channel for one uh growing up i was a fan of nsync factory boys aaron carter uh literally thought you know all of those guys were amazing back in the day and even now the guys that they still are um even aaron carter before he passed away he still was very talented it was very tragic the way that his life ended and now here we are a little bit over a year after aaron passed away and his sister bobby jean carter has passed away and the way that she passed away is eerily similar to the way that aaron passed away and not only that, but Aaron Carter, Nick Carter, there were five siblings. There was Aaron, Angel, Leslie, Nick, and um, Bobby Jean. And this is three out of five that have passed away. And to me, th th this is just something that is kind of like, what, what is happening here? And listen, sometimes I can be somewhat of a conspiracy theorist. I can. I'm like, is there some sacrifices going he on here? Like, I've always like, you know, when I when I dive into that side of what interests me, conspiracy theories and stuff like that, you know how they say that if you want to achieve a greater level of fame, like you have to like sacrifice someone. And I'm like, what is going on here? This seems so wild that this is three out of five. Like, it, 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 I can't even imagine. So let's go ahead and let's get into this. Um, Colby said, did you see um, um, Melanie file lawsuits on her son's behalf and so Aaron's in this? I did see that, uh, saying that they prescribed Aaron, like, Xanax and things like that. I did. Yeah, Aaron Carter died in November 2022, and, th and now Bobby Jean has died December 23rd, 2023. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's get in to this, you guys. Many outlets reported on this. I'm going to read this article from, um, I think this is Fox News. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. They all report the same thing on, on this topic anyways. Um, okay, so Bobby Jean Carter, Nick and Aaron Carter's sister, found deceased in the bathroom. Uh, they are reporting there's no signs of foul play. Aaron Carter died last year at 34 years old his sister bobby jean was 41. um so de new details are emerging about her death and that's kind of one of the reasons why i did not go live with it like the day that she died i actually remember seeing it the day that she died thought about going live that day and then say you know what i'm gonna wait um a couple of days to see if more information comes out um, more information has come out. So that's kind of what I was waiting on. On December 23rd, 2023, the Hillsborough Sheriff Department confirmed to Fox News Digital that Bobby Jean was found unresponsive in the bathroom of her Florida home. The Hillsborough County Fire Rescue Crew arrived at the home, which was located in Tampa. They discovered a woman who was later identified as Bobby Jean Carter. She was immediately transported to St. Joseph's Hospital in Tampa, where she was declared deceased by hospital medical staff at 8.02 in the morning. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office deputies began a death investigation into the case. Deputies learned that Bobby Jean was on probation for cocaine possession. Um, this is according to her roommate, but also according to her roommates, she had not used any narcotics since her release from prison. Um, also, it does note in the report that, that no narcotics or paraphernalia was located in Bobby Jean Carter's room or the bathroom that she was found in. Also, um, no signs of foul play. Authorities told Fox News Digital the medical examiner's office had been notified of her death. So they will do like an autopsy and things like that, I would have to imagine. Deputies additionally shared that their team stayed with Bobby Jean's daughter, Bella, who is eight years old, until the next of kin arrived from Orlando, um, which would be Bobby Jean Carter's mom. 
So from what I, from my understanding, um, Nick, Aaron, Bobby Jean, their mom actually has Bella right now because this little eight-year-old girl lost her dad and now she's lost her mom. I think she lost her dad like last year from my understanding. Um, last year, Bobby Jean's brother, Aaron, was found deceased in a bathtub at his Lancaster, California home on November 5th. Um, Aaron's death was caused by drowning with the effects of like puffing and Xanax listed as contributing factors, according to the L.A. County Department of Medical Examiner's Coroner's Office. The um, aerosol propellant was found in spray cans, the Xanax. All, this was known that he had been using these things. On the morning of November 5th, 2022, Aaron was found submerged in the bathtub at his residence located in Lancaster by his reported housekeeper who called 911 and was instructed to begin CPR. Paramedics were called to the location and Aaron was pronounced dead at the scene at 11.14 a.m. The manner of death was ruled an accident according to the coroner. Aaron was 34. Um, so yeah, 34 and then she's 41 and then they have their sister Leslie who passed away. And I'm actually going to look up some information on Leslie's death. Just because someone in the chat said that she was also found in the bathroom. Okay, so Leslie was born in Tampa, third of five children. She was the oldest, the older sister of singer Aaron Carter and Nick Carter. She also had an older half-sister named Ginger. Hold up, hold up. Okay, and a younger half-brother named Caden on September 12, 2008. Leslie Carter married Mike Ashton and moved to Toronto, where she gave birth to a daughter in 2011. Leslie Carter expressed depression and mental experience, depression and mental illness prior to her death. Leslie was planning to go to rehab for her addiction with help from Aaron. In 2019, her widower, Mike Ashton, was granted a restraining order against her brother, Aaron. Later, Aaron claimed his sister Art him for three years from the ages of 10 to 13. So, okay, so Leslie suffered with addiction, passed away, OD. Um, then Aaron passed away, same. And now um, Bobby Jean. Well, the first report that I did read, it said that she suffered cardiac arrest, which a lot of times overdosing can lead to you going into cardiac arrest. But I'm not going to say that's what it was. They are saying her. Roommates did say, to our knowledge, she hasn't done anything since she's gotten out of prison. I don't know if she was in prison or jail. Um, I think it was jail because, uh, where is that report? Hold on a second, guys. Her, I, I saw one with her mugshot, and it was June 10th, 2023. So she wasn't in jail very long, uh, to my knowledge, and it was for possession. But they said that once she got out of jail, she was trying to stay clean and sober. Oh, my goodness. Family needs to stay out of bathrooms. Listen, I remember um, when Aaron passed away, like, asking, like, what is up with bathrooms? Why are so many celebrities passing away in bathrooms and bathtubs? Like, well, you know, what, what, what is up with this? And apparently... Um, addicts like to go to the bathrooms because it gives them privacy. And if you take like a hot bath while you have drugs, if you shoot up or if you do certain drugs, um, it changes the way that your blood flows. So drugs can, I, I, don't, I don't know the science to it, but I remember somebody explaining it and me thinking, wow, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, while a hot bath could turn your daily pills into a killer dose. All right. When it comes to taking medication, most of us are aware. Pop-ups. That certain conditions can alter their effectiveness. For instance, pills can be taken with or without food, while some are best swallowed on an empty stomach. But there are other surprising factors that can also influence how drugs work. And some may have fatal consequences. Reports this month of the death report reports this month of the death of Barbara Reynolds, 67, highlights the needs to check how we take medication. The heat of a bath, she was taking speed. 
hold on, the heat of a bath she was taking sped up the absorb the absorption of her pain killing fentanyl patches. When she put on a new patch without removing the old, causing a surge of the drug that stopped the heart. Okay, the heat of a bath she was taking sped up the absorption of her pain killing fentanyl patches. So the heat, how does this work? Dr. Tim Johnson, a consultant in pain management, says the effects of the heat on the patches will provide a surge of fentanyl, which would be uh, anesthesis. Which would anesthesis? I don't know. Anesthesis, you? Professor Simon Maxwell, a clinical um, pharmacologist at the University of Edinburgh and a member of the British Pharma Pharmacological Society, says many factors can influence the successful treatment of someone on medications. Okay. Medicines absorbed through the skin via patches are done so more quickly in the heat because the blood vessels dilate, increasing blood, blood flow and speeding up the transport of the drug away from the skin and into the body. This is known to be a risk with painkillers taken this way, such as fentanyl, oxycodone, uh, buprenorphine. So be aware of hot baths and other hot conditions, such as sunny days. This is theoretically true for any patch from nicotine to HRT patches, which is, uh, I think that's like a hormone patch. Be aware that any medication exposed to hot temperatures may cause physical changes. That means they lose potency. Freezing temperatures can cause similar problems. Drugs such as insulin might lose their effectiveness. Freezing destroys the insulin molecule. This could, in theory, stop the drug from being absorbed quickly. Crushing pills to make them easier to swallow can cause serious, even fatal side effects. Some pills have special coatings that affect how they are released, so they act slowly or regularly. Regularly, Drugs with special coatings should not be crushed or chewed. This only increases the surface area, and so it speeds up absorption. But uh, specially coated drugs that should not be crushed include morphine, as it could lead to fatally fast release of the drug. Anifidine, used for angina and blood pressure, can cause dizziness, headache, and an increased risk of stroke or heart attack if crushed up. Never take tablets that stick together or chip or have changed color or consistency, as they might been they may have been affected. Check expiration dates on medication. Um, cranberry and its juice can interact with the blood thinning medication warfarin given to patients with a trial of fibrillate fibrillation, irregular heartbeat. Cranberries can contain large amounts of uh, folic and acid, president aspirin, excess blood thinning can lead to life threatening bleeding. I didn't even know, like, stuff like grapefruit juice can affect medications. Orange and apple juice can combine badly with tablets such as the anti-cancer drug etoposide, beta blocker, adenol, celeprolol, antibiotics. Wow. Okay, so that was one of the things that I remember hearing. So people that are, you know, want to go do drugs, they'll go to the bathroom for privacy, take a hot bath, but like the heat of the water opens up, like causes your blood vessels to dilate, which increases the blood flow. So if you have just taken some sort of medication, um, it absorbs in your stomach quicker. I think that's what it's saying. Um, So yeah, this is this is very sad, honestly. I mean, if you're a mom and you have five children and you lose three of those children, oh, and something else that I was reading about them having a, another sibling. They actually have two. They have Caden, who is younger, and then they have um, Ginger. Ginger. So Bobby Jean has an older half sister named Ginger. Earlier, when I was on Erin Carter's mom's Facebook page, there was something that she wrote, and I didn't know who this was. She wrote this on November 18th. This was before 
This was before um, Bobby Jean passed. On November 18th, Aaron and Nick Carter's mom wrote, Aaron, Leslie, Bob, Doug, Steve, Ginger, all dead. So apparently, Nick's, Nick and Aaron's older half-sibling, Ginger, is dead as well. Okay, here is the Post Journal. Ginger Lee Carter passed away unexpectedly in her home May 29, 2023. What? Okay, okay. This is her. She was their older sister. She was 51, and they had the same dad. They all had the same dad, Robert, Car Robert Carter. So, Aaron passed away in November. 5th, 2022. Then May 29, 2023, Ginger passes away. And now December 2023, Bobby Jean passes away. This is a year and a half, three siblings that passed away. Holy crap. Ugh. Has Nick come out and spoke about anything related to childhood trauma? On their show, House of Carters, he did talk about like um like like relationships with his dad, relationships with his mom. Uh yeah, he did a little bit on their show, House of Carters. I used to watch Aaron Carter on IG Live too at times. I know, right, Reaper? Like did they This is more than, I might do like a deep dive into this family. Like literally six children. There's technically seven, like including whole and half. But my goodness. Out of seven, you got four? You got, yeah, you got four. You got three that's left. Four that's passed, three that's left. Goodness. That is, that is wild, you guys. To me, that just seems very like strange. Very strange. Um, I think she passed away from cancer, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to do like a deep dive whenever I can, because this is just wild to really think about. Um, anyway, you guys, I wanted to make sure I covered this. It's very eerie that like all three siblings seem to have died the same way, found the same way. It's very sad for a family. I mean, I couldn't even imagine being the mom. And, you know, I know the mom gets a lot of heat. Um, Aaron and Nick Carter's mom gets a lot of heat, but I'm like, my God, I don't think I'd be okay either if I was having to go through all the things that I went through. And I know, um, she has struggled with like addiction and stuff. Uh, she has struggled with alcohol. Aaron's mom has. She shared these photos. This is her Facebook page, uh, Aaron's mom. Because, you know, a lot of people wondered if maybe he OD'd on purpose. But she's like painting the house, getting ready for us to move. He did not want to die. So th those were pictures that I guess he sent his mom. Oh, my goodness, Alicia. I know, right? Anyways, you guys, apparently from what I'm reading, though, uh, Aaron and Nick's mom have uh, Bobby Jean's daughter, Bella. Uh, yeah. So anyways, you guys let me your thoughts in the comment section below. We're going to come back and we're going to go over Mama June's daughter, Anna. Why Anna never allowed Michael to adopt Caitlin. It, um, and it wasn't that she never allowed it. They they did explore that, right? So we're going to talk about that. I've seen a lot of people ask in my comment section, why didn't Anna have a wheel? Why didn't she have something drawn up or where the kids would go? You know, why didn't Michael adopt Caitlin? I've had a lot of people ask those questions, and I've reached out to my source to ask those questions, and I did get some answers back. So we're going to go over that next. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys back here in about 30 minutes. Bye, guys.